Welcome friends to PsycheCraft, your one-stop destination for insightful knowledge about the human mind and behavior. Here, we unravel the intricacies of our minds, shedding light on why we behave the way we do. We're all about empowering you with the wisdom of psychology, helping you understand and enhance your own mental processes. Today, we delve into understanding the psychology of laziness. But before we do, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and share our videos. Laziness is not just about lack of effort or motivation. It's a complex psychological issue with multiple causes. Dive deeper into the human mind, and you'll discover that laziness is often intertwined with a lack of motivation. This stems from not finding enough value or satisfaction in the tasks we're expected to do. When we don't see the point, our drive dwindles and we label ourselves as lazy. Similarly, fear of failure can be a significant contributor to laziness. The thought of not succeeding can be so intimidating that it paralyzes us into inaction. We choose not to try at all, rather than risk the possibility of failing. Procrastination, another close relative of laziness, is not just about putting things off. It's a form of avoidance behavior where we choose easier, more enjoyable tasks over difficult or unpleasant ones. It's a psychological struggle between what we should do and what we want to do. And let's not forget about low self-esteem. When we don't believe in our capabilities, we tend to avoid tasks that challenge us. This avoidance can easily be mistaken for laziness, but it's actually a protective mechanism to avoid feeling inadequate. Lastly, our brains are wired to value immediate rewards over long-term benefits. This reward bias can lead us to choose instant gratification, often seen as laziness, over tasks that require sustained effort but promise future rewards. Understanding these causes is the first step towards overcoming laziness. Overcoming laziness is not about pushing harder, but about understanding and addressing its root causes. Let's delve into some strategies that can help you in this journey. Firstly, setting realistic goals is crucial. Aiming too high from the start can lead to disappointment and further fuel your laziness. Start with small, achievable targets that you can build upon as your motivation and self-confidence grow. Next, break down your tasks into manageable parts. A large task can seem overwhelming, but when you break it down, it becomes much more approachable. It's like climbing a mountain. You don't do it in one giant leap, but step by step. Positive reinforcement is also a powerful tool. Reward yourself when you accomplish a task. This doesn't have to be anything grandiose. An episode of your favorite show, a walk in the park, or a small treat can serve as great motivators. Don't forget the importance of a support system. Surround yourself with people who inspire and motivate you. Their energy and positivity can help propel you forward. Lastly, and perhaps most importantly, take care of your mental health. Stress, anxiety, and depression can all contribute to feelings of laziness. Regular exercise, a healthy diet, and adequate sleep can all play a part in maintaining good mental health. Remember, overcoming laziness is a journey, not a destination. It's about making small, consistent changes and celebrating your progress. In conclusion, laziness is not a character flaw but a psychological issue that can be addressed with understanding and the right strategies. We've seen how it stems from various factors and not just a lack of motivation. Equipped with the right strategies, we can all overcome the inertia of laziness and become more productive. Remember, the journey to overcoming laziness starts with a single step. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe, and share it with others. Stay tuned to PsycheCraft for more insights into the human mind and behavior.